honoring our invitation. Our guest speakers, business leaders, our stakeholders, let me acknowledge the presence of Mohammed Gada from Telesol Group. Thank you so much. Our partners from the media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm deeply honored to welcome you to this year's Vodafone Business Runway, which is one of our unique platforms we have developed to give you back to our customers, especially our SMEs in Ghana. Following past events, feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Many shared how they gained insights, significantly changed their businesses, and so we are confident that this year's edition will prove even more impactful. As Bernard said, our theme this year is good to great with Vodafone, innovate, comply, and expand. This is a very, very different theme from what you usually will see. This theme has been carefully chosen in recognition of the challenging realities that businesses, especially SMEs, face today. High inflation, high cost of borrowing, lack of funding, expectations of funding partners, among many others. Additionally, Ghana's tax regime continues to evolve. Most recently, we have seen upward reviews in VAT, an income tax for certain income brackets. We have also seen reinstatement of custom duties for classes of imports that were previously exempted. Our business has not been spared. If I start to share what has happened to us, you will not even believe it. In these turbulent times, not only is survival a priority, but interestingly, our shareholders also expect growth, rightly so, and enhanced shareholder value. Our theme encapsulates the belief that merely being good is no longer enough. To truly excel and sustain greatness, businesses must focus on a number of elements, and I will attempt to highlight just three. Innovation is the first one. This is not just about the next technology or launching a product never seen before. Innovation is also about doing the same thing differently and better so that you can compete with, uh, compete effectively, and also have some unique selling pro proposition which may not be that easy to replicate or actually in our case to help you to reduce your operational costs. In Vodafone, we have been very deliberate about how we drive down our operational costs and drive up op operational efficiency. We have been developing our self-service platforms. We have recruited many developers. We have deployed so far over 30 bots into our business, and I'm not trying to sound fanciful. These are very deliberate efforts we have put in to help us reduce costs and to respond to our customers faster. At this point, let me acknowledge the power of having a great team. What I have said would not have been possible if we didn't have an amazing team, and most of them are here today. Please acknowledge them for me. People do make a difference, and I encourage all of you to invest in people. The second is funding. Growth means expansion. Expansion requires execution. Execution requires capital. This is a conversation I have always with my shareholder. And without access to capital, no business can survive, let alone thrive. So we must consider partnerships, though not at any cost. And I believe our speakers will give us insights into how we can do this better. The third, which is my favorite, compliance. As a business, your stakeholders, which include your customers, your regulators, your vendors, even your employees, expect you to meet a minimum standard in order for them to work with you. It's amazing the questions that our new recruits will ask you when you ask them, do you have any questions for me? They ask you about your investment in the environment and what kind of governance that you have. As a service provider to businesses, Evidence of tax compliance, as an example, is a prerequisite to us closing deals. And the same goes when we want to access funds. 
this week my team and I spent time with some investors and after we had presented every great thing about our performance, they focused half the time asking about compliance, ESG, data privacy, taxation, among others. We must not lose sight of our obligations. Compliance is key to driving greatness. I will not take the wind out of the sail of our speakers. We promise you a wealth of knowledge and no pressure on our speakers. You will gain insights from industry leaders, from finance to brand innovation and tax compliance. And I hope that you arm yourselves with these insights to elevate your business. September is set aside every year to focus on our SMEs. And we have kept this as testament to our commitment to walk the journey with you and develop solutions that meet your evolving needs. We have unveiled initiatives and tools that you can use to grow. We are currently rolling out our 4G Plus network, and this is to improve your data experience. And recently, we have outdoored our one business solution. If you haven't signed on to it, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. In closing, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has made today possible. I wish you a great business conference, and I look forward to a great interaction together. Let us move from God.